Today I fucked up by putting inane shit as my Venmo memo and having it read out loud in open court. Posting from my alt cause I'm a whole ass business professional and am mortified by my stupidity. Today I fucked up by putting stupid, inane shit as the memo for my Venmo transactions. Well actually these transactions are spread out over two years. My older brothers and I try to say the most out of pocket stuff with our Venmo payments to try to get a laugh. Everyone does this, right? It's harmless, it's silly. Until you file bankruptcy and have to meet with a trustee in open court who asks about payments made to friends and family. I answer honestly, yes I've paid friends and family for various reasons. I provided my Venmo transaction history to you. He says oh let me check my records. So begins a very, very, long pause. I just know he's sifting through the fan favorites, which include but are not limited to. For the discoloration of your butthole flaps, pee pee tong. For the soiled adult diaper auction, butt plugs and electric shock rods. DVD, black studs, white moms, your bitch tits. Remember that time you shit in the backyard, for your mother last night, kissing hands and shaking babies. I'm bright red, sinking down in my chair. My lawyer looks at me puzzled, clearly she didn't read these in depth. Why am I such an immature stupid fuck? Too long did not read. I sent my brothers some Venmos with really inappropriate and explicit memos, and had to watch in horror as the trustee read them during a court proceeding. Honestly, they were to my brother, I didn't think anyone else would see it. Fully explains everything. Gotta own that. I'm a professional and would have had a hard time not laughing in open court. They did it to embarrass you and it worked. Stealing some of these. My older brothers and I try to say the most out of pocket stuff. For your mother last night. At that point double down. You're committed. It's like jumping out of an airplane. Once you do it, there's no going back no matter how much you regret it. Yes your honor, my butthole flaps are discolored. No no no, I purchased black studs, white moms for my brother because our mom is featured on that DVD. As Vinnie Diesel once said, familia is everything. I'm stealing kissing hands and shaking babies. Remember that time you shit in the backyard. This is the one that got me. Today I fucked up by making my child vegetarian. I have a six-year-old son. We went to a fair a few months ago and there was a display of livestock that the public could pet. Me, trying to be jolly, told him that he'd be eating them for dinner someday. My son was shocked and asked me how was that possible. I told him that meat is made by killing animals and cooking them. He then asked me what all the meats were. I told him that it's chicken, beef, steak, sausages, salami and mutton. Later that night at home, I noticed him separating his dinner. He removed all the meat pieces from the rice and only ate the rice. My wife asked him what was wrong and he said he doesn't want to eat animals. In the morning, I gave him a glass of milk but he refused to drink it. I asked him why and he said that it's made from cows. I explained to him that milk comes from squeezing a cow's chest and that no cows are hurt or killed when making milk. I also told him that eggs come out of a chicken's mouth. Wrong, I know, but I didn't want him to give up eggs too. Thankfully, he's fine with milk and eggs. However, he continued refusing to eat any meat. A week passed and we went to the doctor. The doctor said that it's probably just a temporary phase and we should feed him vegetarian alternatives for the time being. We now buy canned beans, lentils, Greek yogurt, olive oil, whey protein, soy nuggets and plant-based patties, sausages. We also order a cheese pizza for him. It's been a few months now, and I bought iron and B12 gummies for him. Even my wife and I are starting to go more vegetarian. Too long did not read. We went to a fair and there was a display where the crowd could pet livestock. I told my son he'd eat those animals soon, and he's a full-blown vegetarian now. Most kids do this at least once, I think it's part of learning empathy. He might stay vegetarian or not, just be supportive. I can't imagine not being able to explain chickens laying eggs to my six-year-old and having to lie to them and say they come out of their mouths. Vegetarian here. I became vegetarian later in life, 19 but had a vegan friend whose story has parallels to your son's. Six years old, family at the dinner table, sibling informed them that they were eating a dead chicken. Has never eaten meat since. 
This a natural, compassionate reaction to realizing that some of your food comes with a hidden cost of pain and death. You and your spouse deserve a big kudos for supporting your child and sticking to his moral beliefs, even when you don't share them. That's wonderful of you, and whether he remains a vegetarian or not in the future, he will remember how you supported him. No cows are hurt or killed when making milk. You know that isn't true though, right? The entire industry requires cows to be lactating, which requires pregnancy. Where do you think those baby cows go? And the egg industry literally macerates male chicks. I get this is outside the scope of a child's awareness but all adults should be aware of this. I'm not a vegetarian but I don't lie to myself about where my food comes from. My friend's kid has been a vegetarian for a few years now after having that same experience. You didn't fuck up. It's important for people to know where their food comes from. I think it's great that you're letting him explore his options. He may outgrow it, or he may decide to remain plant-based long term. There are worse things. How is this a foo? Get some perspective and let him live by his principles. Today I fucked up by watching my flight board and take off without me. I'm at the airport cursing myself right now I just can't believe I could do something so silly. I'm traveling to my hometown for my younger sibling's high school graduation and, like the title says, I missed my flight because I was too, stupid? I was standing in front of the gate, listening to music. I swore they were boarding the flight beside the one I was scheduled for as it was about 20 minutes before my scheduled boarding time. I watched them call the names, obliviously nodding my head until the plane fully takes off. The attendant at the desk watched all of this unfold and laughed at me when I asked when my flight would be boarding. I can't even blame her for laughing. Apparently they called my name and everything and I just stood there, jamming with my airpods in. Customer service came through. I'm on standby for another flight in an hour. And if there's no room then there's space in a flight 8 hours from now. I still have no idea what I was thinking. Too long did not read. I missed my flight because I was jamming too hard, even though the flight was boarding right in front of me. I was at the airport and watched someone do exactly what you did. The plane boarded they were calling out the name of the last passenger who hadn't boarded. There was a probably 18-year-old guy with headphones in sitting there and every time they made an announcement he would turn his head and look at the person. After the plane locked the doors and pulled away from the gate the guy looked at his watch, pulled his headphones out, walked up to the counter and asked them when boarding for flight so and so was and they were like we've been calling your name over the intercom for the last 20 minutes the plane just left. Since you already know what you did and this fits the sub perfectly I'll just say what I heard many times when I was young and dumb and hurt myself in front of an adult. Bet you won't do that again. I mean, when you need to hear stuff, take the shit out of your ears? This is why I turned down the volume of my headphones and only have one of my ears uncovered. So I can hear what's happening in public and still hear my music or podcasts. If I'm at the store and I can hear shopping carts and my music then I'm in good shape. Respectfully, what a fucking idiot. Did the exact same thing, except I was reading. I looked up and the chairs were all empty. I didn't notice everyone getting in line, the announcements, etc. It just passed me on by.